Every tear that he made you, made you cry a thousand times. Hey, I'm Mickey Free, formerly of Shalimar, and I'm here tonight to witness a long overdue of Howard Hewitt, the story on Unsung TV One. I can't tell you how much I love Howard. He's my friend, been in the band with Shalimar with him. He's my dog. What else can I say? I was proud and honored to be in the episode with him, and I'm here tonight. Mickey Free, peace out. What's going on? How can you give him your love wing? He'll give you what you need. Oh. He don't give you what you want. Girl, you need love. And I've got that love that you need. Hi, Dad. I love you so much. You know how much I love you, and I hope you enjoy your party tonight. We're so proud of you, and everything looks amazing, and I love you. funny and I love him a lot. I have to say something about my dad. Yeah, that's that's my dad and he's weird. <laughs> and he's weird. <laughs> that's it. I don't know. Oh no, I have to say something good. I have to say something good about about that. My name is Chris Hewitt. Um, Howard is my dad and he has been probably one of the most supportive dads that you could ever hope for if you were to go into music industry so yeah I, I love him to death he's he's an awesome awesome dad my dad is probably one of the most amazing fathers I've ever seen in my entire life he's incredibly supportive and even with his busy schedule he still manages to make time for his kids and his family and I love him oh so much for that <laughs> Hi, I'm Rainey, Howard's first wife, and it was a very good documentary on him, and I love him very much still to this day, and very happy for him and proud of him. <laughs> Hola, buenas noches to everyone. We're here at Macau Restaurant at 1600 Vine Street, and we're honoring the most beautiful vocalist I know. His name is El Señor Howard Hewitt. Uh, just delicious human being, incredible person, amazing father, and we all know that his music is something that we adore. Many, many, many babies in Puerto Rico and here abroad have been made by the music of this amazing man. So Howard, we all congratulate you tonight on your unsung video and uh, continued blessings of life, love, laughter, and music. Thank you for all that you do and for your talent. I love you. Oh, 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 it's time? It's time? It's time? Okay. This is all about Howard Hewitt. My man, my partner, my boy. Hey, what does he mean to me? It's like, what is, um, what would Roland Way be without Howard Hewitt? What would Howard Hewitt be without Roland Way? la di da di da <laughs> Hey, man. We're here for you tonight to uh, come watch your unsung, watch the story that's been told. You know, but we know the truth though behind the story, so we're all right, we're good. So, I want to say congratulations, man. A lot of more, no, what is that? More doors are going to be open after this situation. Everybody's going to be just kind of say, oh, I remember Howard Hewitt. Now, let's just see what we can do with the Howard Hewitt that we now know. So, we just going to have a good time, just going to kind of kick it, kind of look around. I mean, I'm looking at that old Judge Mathis over in the corner. That go Michael Jai White over in that corner. That go, um, they go, they go, Steve. They go, Steve from Trooping behind me. I mean, everybody's in here. They go, Joyce, right there. So, you know, so, so every, every, everybody, everybody's here. Everybody's here. We're waiting on you, man. So we'll see you when you get here. All right, love you, man. I'm not gonna say much more. Only that what Roland said is that we're just here waiting on you. Excited to be here. Can't wait. So come on in. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm advertising your own record while I'm doing a salute to you, but you my man, you my brother, love you, homeboy, uh, since for far too long, but really proud of you. Congratulations on Unsung. Uh, congratulations on still having a, a vital career that people respond to and love, and um, look forward to seeing this program and seeing you tonight. Much love, my brother. How you doing? This is Bobby G, Roland's assistant. Howard and I are good friends now. I've been working with Howard for a while as his, one of his bodyguards. Uh, he's also featured in my Yahweh magazine. 
And uh, I love Howard. He means a lot to me and my family. And we're going to continue supporting him and loving him the way we do. Praise Yahweh. Wow. Howard Hewitt. Man, he is such a blessing. His music is inspirational. Um, I consider him more than just a singer. He's my brother. And I just wish him the best. And bless you. And that's it. Love you. Mr. Howard, we want to say first and foremost, congratulations and what your music means to me. By the way, this is Kelly Bias, Gary Bias of Earth, Wind and Fire. I know you know who we are, um, but we're proud of you. And of course, I remember back in the days, honey. So from the Shalimar days all the way to present, I'm very proud of you and um, thank you. Just here to support and to, uh, you know, uh, pay homage to uh, a very great uh, singer, Howard, and uh, always love everything that you've done over the years, and um, very underrated, I, in, my, in my humble opinion, I think he's world class and one of the best that's ever done it, so, you know, keep doing what you do, and we're here to support you, thank you. Hey, how are we? Okay. You got a new single? Wait a minute. <laughs> you have a new single out. Just want to tell you how long we have been friends is ridiculous. Knew you before you were in Shalimar and was with you the day that you went and auditioned and came home and got the part. And I know you remember that. It was a very exciting day. We love you. I love you. My family loves you. And wishing you the best uh, from here on in. You got what it takes, okay? Bye. No, first of all, nobody sings like Howard. His music is incredible. And and I'll never forget the day a, a friend of mine, Norman Whitfield, very famous producer, did The Temptations, Marvin Gaye, and everybody else, was over at my house. And he wanted so bad to do Howard Hewitt right before he got into Shalimar. So congratulations on your unsung. This is it. I'm here, Ray Parker Jr., to watch you on the screen. Hey, Howard. What's up, man? I guess I shouldn't have to say my name, but I will just for other of those who will be watching this. My name is Norwood. So... Howard Hewitt, what an amazing, amazing event, and it's uh, an honor for me to, t to be here with you, and I will go on the record saying yes, I always have been, and am still jealous of that falsetto, and thank you very much. Thank you, baby. Judge Mathis here. Just want to say a congratulations to my buddy Howard Hewitt. He has meant so much for so many decades to all of us. He's given us great music. He's given us great praise music and great love music. Amen. Hi, how are you? This is uh, Paulo Santo from Headhunt Entertainment, also part of Loose Ends. Just wanted to give a big salute to uh, one of my mentors, an icon in this game. You know, Howard Hewitt, he's the best. Nobody can do it like him. Love and respect. Hi, I'm Jane Eugene from Loose Ends, and before I started in Loose Ends and we got to the Hanging on a String, I used to look at Shalimar and say, wow, I'd like to be like that group. So, Howard, I love you, and he's just like one of the best falsetto singers that's out there. True. Hi, this is Carla Gordy Bristol, here to celebrate Howard Hewitt. I love Howard Hewitt. He is such a special person. What does he mean to me? Howard is love. He really is. He's a genuine person and he's love. He's humble. You know, it, it, with all his celebrity that he's received, he's still a good hearted person to the core. He'll be there for you. He supports others. And that is so special in this industry. We can have a lot of friends in the industry, but when you call upon them to just show up and do something for you, they, they, they really ask for the moon. But Howard will, you know, be there for you to support and help you if he loves you. And you got to return that love. And I return it to you, Howard. That's why I'm here to celebrate you today. Hello, everybody. This is April Sutton. And let me tell you, I have known Howard Hewitt since I was eight years old. We grew up in the same city, Akron, Ohio. Now, some people think Akron, Ohio was LeBron James town. No, no, no. Before LeBron James, there was Howard Hewitt, my homeboy. I am so proud of you, Howard. Thank you so much for having me on this TV special. It is so great to see you being honored and giving the tribute that you deserve. I've listened to you sing ever since uh, Arlington Church on Arlington Avenue in Akron, Ohio. So I knew you from the very beginning and I've watched the whole evolution of your journey. And I am proud of you. I knew your mother, Miss Charlene Hewitt, who did a great radio show and you are continuing the legacy of your family. Congratulations, I love you, Mwah! April Sutton. Bye. 
Howard Hewitt is a genius. Uh, he's a rare talent that comes uh, like a like a like one of those comets that ever come every 500 thousand years he's got one of those unique voices and just we've been able to jam together over the years and uh, he's made my projects that much better you know because of his talent and I just really totally respect him so I'm just glad to be here tonight and celebrate him and honor him hey Howard it's your sister Dawn here you know how much I love you we going on 30 plus years strong I'm telling you you should have had me in Shalimar but that's all right that's all right that's all good and people will know what I'm talking about when they see your unsung. Stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Hey, what's up, Howie? Congratulations. And uh, you my boy. Um, glad to see you're uh, still hitting it hard. Got my boy Mike holding the camera. All my boys, all my boys are here. <laughs> God bless you, man. I am Constance Foe. I have worked with Howard on several different music videos. I am a makeup and hairstylist, and when I tell you, Howard is such an amazing man, singer, writer, like he has literally built the legendary musical man. I'm just saying, he's awesome. I love you, Howard. Hi. My name is O.C. Smith Jr. I am the son of O.C. Smith, and Howard and I have been friends uh, for over 40 years. And I remember when he first got to, came to California uh, from Cleveland, Ohio. And um, we, made, we made the bond right away. He used to come to me and say, Oh, can you take me to Worcester Boulevard in my car? And I'd say, as long as you sang all the way there and all the way back. And that, that's the kind of relationship we, we started with. And that's where we are today. Still great friends. And I love him to death. He's a beautiful man. And God bless him and his family. Hey, it's your girl Tangerine from the show Family Time and the new show Famous in Love. Howard Hewitt, I love you so, so much. Your music has meant the world to me for years, even though you're still young and looking great. I loved working with you on the uh, radio show Musical Boot Camp. I'm so excited to see this unsung because you are really underrated. Like, you're amazing. Your voice, your production skills. Like, I can't wait for you to get your props. Go, Howard. Hi, my name's Ken Rose, and the reason I'm wearing this hat is because of Howard. I saw how good looking he is in the hat, so I decided I'd wear one. Um, Howard's music has always been an inspiration, and uh, quite frankly, I think he's uh, a wonderful man. I love his son, Chris, and if you haven't heard his work, I suggest you do. Chris Hazel with a, a Z. And uh, Howard's just been a, a great friend, a wonderful person, and I encourage everyone to enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Stephen Russell Hartz, lead singer of the group Troop. And I just want to say, Howard, I love you. Uh, I produced Howard's last single, Better Guy. And Howard, of course, you know, you've always been one of my biggest inspirations. Uh, you were like my vocal coach. Uh, you were the reason, one of the main reasons that I'm who I am in the music business today. And I love you very much, man. Can't wait to do the next record, man. I love you.
gentlemen, for over 20 something plus years. And I just want to give him a round of applause again. It takes a lot of courage to put your life up there, to share your story, your journey as an artist, as a man, as a father. And I just thought it was amazing that you opened your heart up to do that tonight as a cheers to everybody on this journey. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up to the one, the only, Mr. Howard Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like over 
There's more, more on this side over here. Oh, this is the shot. This is the shot. Oh, come on, come on up on top, on top, on top. I'm going to dive inside of here. Come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Can you see everybody? Well, ladies, y'all want to get around the front closer? Can y'all see everybody? Yes. Okay, uh, uh, Arno, where's your camera? Where's Arno at? Oh, oh no, that's the man. Where's the man at? Right. Amazing, Howard Hewitt. I didn't know, I thought I knew a lot of you because we've known each other for about 10 years, um, but there were so many aspects that I didn't know. I am glad that you have climbed, forged, um, broken through the good, the bad, the indifferent. I don't want to say ugly because everything in life happens for a reason. But like I told your son, Christopher, Hewitt, that the most amazing thing that I know about you, Howard Hewitt, that you are an amazing father. God has blessed you with incredible talent, but the legacy that you live, that you leave, I'm sorry, my Spanish is coming out. The legacy that you leave is that you were an amazing dad. Your children all admire you, are proud of you, love you, and your grandchildren will be reading about you and hearing your music forever and ever. God bless you. I love you, Howard Hewitt. Like Robert said, Robert Townsend was saying, you bear your soul, hey, and that's what people appreciate and respect about anybody who can do that like you did. I've seen a lot of people do it. It seems to be getting more and more popular now, but the way you did it, it was sincere, it was genuine, it was from your heart. And baby, you know we love you. My beautiful daughter Carla here and I, every year, you support us at our events. You support everybody, all your friends. You give of yourself so dearly and graciously. Thank you for everything you do for us, and we're happy to be here to support you tonight because you're the best. I did everything she said, Howard. Love you so much. And that film is perfect, like I just told you. I think it was well done. I love it from beginning to end. And you're just an amazing person. We love you so much. You're, you have such a giving heart. You are so talented. Every time you open that voice and, and share it with the world, we, we elevate, like April said in the film, and we elevate and uh, take us to a new high. So thank you so much for being you. We really do, we love you, your family does. Absolutely, thank you, bye-bye. And he can sing. Sing, sing. sing. But I can't even hit the half a note like what he's trying to do, but no, he can. And it's still, his voice is still as great as it used to be. I mean, yeah. you're not, what's happening? You got a little portrait in the closet that, you know, like aging and you're not, well, what's going on? He has good spirit and good aura. Howard Hewitt, what can I say? He's been a dear friend now for all oh, man. I guess almost the last 10 years or so. Real gentleman and obviously uh, his music, that of Shalimar, was a soundtrack of our lives back in the, the mid 70s, early 80s. Uh, nobody deserves it more. 
uh, than he does. I, uh, I don't like to think of him as unsung. I, I think he is, he is one of the true R&B soul legends that we still have. And uh, I, I, I feel grateful and humble to consider him a, a dear friend. And uh, I give him nothing but kudos. Okay. Can I say hi, Mom? No. Ha Howard and I go way back to the early 80s. We worked together with Stanley Clark and George Duke. And what does his music mean to me, man? Ooh, just being with him, watching that creative flow. It's the best. And I'm going to add that I grew up on the Shalimar music, and it's such a pleasure to have gotten to know you, Howard, through, ironically, Eric. And the journey has just begun. I believe the rest of your life is going to be not only your golden years, but the happiest years of your life. I'm so honored to be your friend. Let's have another Super Bowl party, and I'm going to buy you a dish. Well, how, how it goes without saying it, you are my brother, both spiritually, musically, and as a friend, man, for the last 25 or more years, the music we've shared, the conversations we've shared, the tears, the joy, the ups and the downs, it means everything. And I'm just proud and happy that we were able to share that through song and share that energy and love and with the world and I'm so happy for you that this uh, event is taking place and because people should know about your story because you're so much more than a singer so much more than a musician and um, people should know and I'm happy to be a part of it and I'm happy to be here and we wish you many more years of success I love you brother you take care man I enjoyed everything the thing that that really um that was really special was being able to view this with a room full of friends and a room full of people who love me and, and uh, we've had a lot of life together and and that's what I was always saying when, that, when we were talking about building up to this whole situation I said you know that we we deal with the good the bad and the ugly you know and but that's what that's what a life is about I don't I don't, I don't know anybody that that has escaped any one of those three situations, the good, the bad, or the ugly. So, but it's hard to kind of condense 50 years of, of a passing and of a life into 48 minutes. But I think they did a great job. Everybody at the Unsung, uh, Unsung uh, Company, Anthony Smith, everybody did a great job. And we had a good time putting it, putting it together. So, this is the prequel to the book. So, I'm going to write a book called Say Amen, My Life, dot, 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 so far. God bless you. Oh, and this camera's live over there. Can everybody look at that camera over there and say, we love you, Howard. We love you, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, you know, you know how much I love you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.